In this video, let's go through two sadly common problems that happen in the design world where you may be getting data from other sources or from CAD technicians. So I have here just two alignments and um, they have a non-tangent curve in here and I've made it drastic enough you can really see it. And this one, when I select the southern one, you can see we've got a tangent, tangent, and a curve and we actually have two warnings here civil 3d telling us this is non-tangent this north one I don't have any error messages it's because there's another example where I got it and this thing came in as a polyline with a whole bunch of PIs in the middle of it so how do we fix this and why do we fix this so what will happen if you try to push either one of these in a corridor is you will more than likely get bow ties at these connection points if it was ever so slightly off of tangent, a little less extreme, you might not graphically see it during your design process, but when it does a drop, it's going to try to do a template drop for the corridor perpendicular to both of those objects. So you will generate a bow tie on the inside edge. And it's even more exasperated in this example with all these PIs. So let's go through real quick how to fix these horizontal alignments. And we'll start with the southern one because it's the simpler of the two. And uh, I'm going to select the alignment and open the geometry editor. And I am actually going to come over here and delete this element out. And notice that the stationing has disappeared because now it is a discontinuous alignment. Don't freak out, that's what it's supposed to do. Now, let's come over here and put some fillet curves between two entities just this easily choose my next entity specify a radius and there you go and now you have a continuous alignment with all of the amenities so if I take this PI and move it I can pull these radii whoops I can take this and pull this curve around just like we'd like to be able to do it. So if you had that center line and it needed to be in the general area of where that line was, I could pull it down and it's updating everything dynamic and it is tangent. Do notice that when I did that real quick, when I select this, you see this little blue line and the square. I can actually take this square and pull it over. So I can maybe pull it to where the PI should be. So let's see if the apparent intersection actually works this time. So we'll go from there to this line that did not work so you could find that intersection point and pull that PI out pull that over so it would actually be at the PI you saw that it snapped so I think that's the actual PI point so now that I've got that I can drag this object around now and you can see that it is moving the curve but it is holding that other PI so we lose that functionality as of it was during in this method of changing the two tangents because we don't have a PI to grab so the better option in my opinion is to actually make these a continuous element so I'll do this the hard way and just draw me a line on each one and the only reason I'm doing it this way is half the time I can't seem to get the apparent intersection to work. And now we'll extend to that object, this object. And I will move this PI to here. And I will pull this PI down to there. And notice it now is a connected alignment and now we can do the fillet again now that it's connected we'll re do this again between that element whoops the first entity the next entity less than radius of 200 we delete these lines and now we've got our PI that we can drag around and change alignment. So two different ways of fixing that one and getting it good and tangent. And now that I've showed you that we're essentially going to do the same thing on this one 
but it requires a whole lot of cleanup because we've got all these PIs we have to delete. So I'd come in here and I would remove all of these intermediate PIs. Messy. Whoops. And that's fine. I accidentally deleted one more than I needed. So what we'll do is we will insert one. Make sure my O snap is on. And we'll do the endpoint that line. So to get back to where I wanted to be. So we've got that. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to find that intersection point and move these PIs to it. So if I can do this, we're going to try the apparent one more time and see if it works. The apparent intersection of it's just not going to work. The apparent intersection of that one, yeah. So let's do it the hard way. And extend that polyline. And we'll do the same thing. We're going to pull this P out of here. And then because that is now a tangent, I can delete this one. And we can rinse and repeat and do our between two entities. Just that quickly. And then I can grab this because I'm just choosing a random radius and I can pull it down to somewhere in here. Now that's pretty drastically different because the it was a very non-tangent arc but that's a good way for you to be able to see both the leading an entity and two ways of fixing it there and then the way of getting rid of the PIs. That's it for this video.